Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Beloved, this is another day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Shall we pray? Almighty Jehovah, King of kings, Lord of lords, we give you all the glory for this morning. You have given us a breath. You alone control life. We thank you. We honor you. We praise you. Spirit of the living God, this is a vessel you can use this morning. I am a filter clear before you. Speak through me and let your word come forth. We give you all the glory, Master Jesus. We thank you for giving us a breath so that your word will come forth. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, our Lord has given us a word. And without wasting time, let us read the scripture. The title of the message is, Only Jesus Christ Changes Life. And the title that I said, and the scripture is Luke 19, and the verse is one to six. Let's hear the word of God. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was a chief among the publicans. And he was rich. Three. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not, for the press, because he was a little of stature. Four. And he ran before and climbed up into Sacomo tree to see him, for he was to pass that way, five. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make a haste and come down. For today, I must abide at thy house. The last verse. And he made a haste and came down and received him a joyfully hallelujah. Beloved, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is all in all. This rich man wanted to see Jesus, though he had money, but still he was in need of something which is available, that Christ must be in his life. Beloved, the man Zacchaeus was a rich man. Something was missing in his life and he needed Jesus, the savior, the king, the controller of life. His money wasn't going to make him happy, but he needs Jesus to help him. So our Lord Jesus Christ, the God who knows everything, when he got to his place, he saw the man was on top of the tree. And Zacchaeus was determined to see Jesus. So beloved, are we determined to serve our master Jesus as Zacchaeus? wanted to see Jesus. Jesus know everything. So when he got to the tree where this man was on top, he stood because he know the mind of each and every one. Hallelujah. 
The more we draw closer to our God, the more he will know us. So the determination is something we need. We have to focus on God only, as Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. He is a miracle working God. He is the ancient of days, the God who knows everything. So beloved, we continue. We would jump to eight and let's hear what Zacchaeus said. And Zacchaeus, verse eight, 19, eight, Luke 19, eight. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, behold, Lord, the half of my goose, I have it to give to the poor. And I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Beloved, this is where the man told Jesus. That man, the man has cheated so many people to become rich. Same thing with our lives. Nowadays, we cheat our neighbors, we do wicked things to our neighbors without thinking. My beloved, this man saw that his money will not take him to anywhere. So it is time for you and I to stop doing wicked things to our neighbors. It is time, beloved, to repent from our wicked ways. Zacchaeus, let us know that we need God first. As the Bible let us know, Matthew 6, 33, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all things shall be added. Beloved, Zacchaeus was a rich person, but he was lacking something. With Christ, all things are possible. And the kingdom of God is at hand. It is time for you and I to repent so that we can be with our Lord Jesus Christ. Also, the scripture is telling us not to do wicked to others because whatever we do, it will bounce back. Like your soul what he has done to become rich. But when he met Jesus, all his riches, he wanted to give it away. So are we willing to learn something from this scripture? All what we have acquired, the riches that we are trying to claim, or we claim, or we are trying to get, it is a vanity, as Solomon said. So beloved, we have to learn this lesson and to stop all the evil ways, our wicked ways, and to know our Lord. As Zacchaeus saw our Lord, when God Almighty come unto you, everything you should stop. He is a God of all things. He knows our hearts. And Zacchaeus' heart was seeking for the Lord. What about you and I? Are we seeking for him? Are we trying to repent from our wicked ways? Like this man, he confessed on the eighth verse. He said, Master, I will give everything. Anything I have taken from my neighbors or cheated, I will give it four times. So it is a lesson that this morning, our Lord is telling us to repent from our wicked ways. Evil is not good. We don't have to do evil. 
we continue. We have to seek God. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the only who can transform, who can change our life. Spirit of the living God, this morning, we need your help. That the scripture is telling us that Zacchaeus came in contact with our Lord Jesus Christ and his life was transformed. So beloved, what about you and I? We have to let our Lord Jesus Christ into our hearts, transform our life, and we need repentance. May God Almighty have mercy upon us. May the will of God be upon us this morning so that we can change and be ready to serve our Lord for he is coming soon so that we will not perish. We need him. Oh, Master Jesus, without you, there is no other way. Spirit of the living God, have mercy. You are our friend, our teacher, our comforter, our guide. We need you to direct us so that it will be a blessing unto our soul. May the will of God transform our life this morning. May the spirit of God direct us. We need you, Holy Spirit. There is nothing that we can do if you don't help us. May God have mercy over our soul. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us a message like this. We need it because we fall short. We need to repent. Help us to do what the master wants us. As Zacchaeus met the Lord. So it is time we also we meet the Lord one on one. We thank you for the message. I take this opportunity. May the God Almighty, the creator of the universe, the one who has ordained his servant, bless him and protect him and also the family and also the viewers that avail themselves in daily basis to listen to end time prophet. May they also be blessed and may they, their heart desire be met by our Lord Jesus Christ. We give God the glory. Thank you. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your word has come forth. Amen.